Welcome to our Not Back to School lap book look through. So we're gonna have a look at some lovely activities you might like to put in a lap book for Not Back to School, or just activities you might like to do during Not Back to School week. So to start with, we've put on the front cover all this lovely bunting, and I've just printed it 16 per page, so it's just printed out nice and small and gives it a nice bright front cover as well as sticking some home education stickers on. And I've put those throughout the lap book as well as some on the back because it just brightens it up. And then we've also put some coloring on the back too, some of the home education coloring sheets. And there are lots of those to pick from. So you can pick your favorite or you could put a few on and then change which one you can see. And then inside the lap books, so this is just a normal A4 folder, but I've put a piece of card on to extend it here. Um, we've got some inspirational quotes, so we'll start here. And then hidden behind that, we have got the Not Back to School Week Fortune Teller. So you can download this on our website and make one of these. So we've got our Fortune Teller here. Let me show you that so you can have fun with a lovely fortune teller. And then I've kind of tucked that away. I've made an extra secret pocket for that one. We've also got some not back to school challenge cards. We've got all sorts of different challenges to do during not back to school weeks. So that's nice and I like having them all here so I know where they are and they're easy to get out. So I'm not losing my resources when I print everything off. So I really like lap books just keeping me organize, so I'll put those in there. Then we've also got some other not back to school activity sheets that I've printed off here, so I've put those in there. So we've got our word search, our I spy, and writing our mission statement. So we're gonna have a think about this during not back to school week, and that all goes in this activity file here. Then on this little flap here, we've put in some little notebooks for the children to fill in. So thinking about I wonder, so if they've got any questions, so this might be during the week or throughout the year, they can write those on and then maybe we can find out the answer to them. So they're always thinking about why things might happen or why this happens. So all the questions the children ask, we've got somewhere to write those down. And here's a nice just activity booklet of just my favorite things. So they can write in what their favorite things are. So it just reminds you at the start of the year what kind of things the children like doing. And then here we've got a big goals as well. So if we've got any big goals that we really want to accomplish this year, we can write them in there with the reminder quote here of a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. So it's going to take a while to do these big goals, but we know you need to do lots of little steps to get there. And to help us along that way, I've then used some Twinkle shoe print. So I've downloaded a footprints picture from Twinkle and then I've just printed it off small so it's four to a page and then we can write on here what different steps we're going to do to work towards those big goals. So it might be, so there's four footprints each one of the goals and there's just a reminder it's not going to be easy, it's going to be worth it. So sometimes we have to do hard stuff but if we keep going we can get there to achieve our big goals and that's a really nice thing to think about at the start of the year. We're going to get these big goals accomplished. Then inside here we've also got the all about me sheets so there's just something to again let your child think about themselves and what things are important to them what they might like to study what kind of challenges they have think about that and it's really nice to at the start of the year to reflect on what's been gone on but also then think about what we're going to take forward to the year ahead so in this envelope we've just got some home ed group games so if we're at a home ed group and we want some games to play we've got those there ready to play so we don't need to get bored and so the children might like playing those or even just at the park and then that all neatly folds away so nothing can fold fall out of the envelope then we've got some more of the nice posters that I've just printed little postcards as reminder reminders to have those in and then finally we've got our back to school bingo in here as well so here I have put some velcro on to hold the bingo sheets in place so we can get those out and then when we're done with them we can just tidy them away and here are the bingo cards so we can pick those out or maybe even do some of these bingo cards and so that is our wonderful not back to school lap book we hope you have lots of fun not going back to school